guys, welcome to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm gonna to be bringing you a really easy to make weeknight dish that's delicious enough to serve to a crowd, but it comes together in under an hour, super flavorful, flavorful, and it comes together in one pan. It's my chicken and olive stew, and I'm also adding pasta to it, so it could be a complete meal. Let's go over the ingredients, and then we're gonna get started. So I have some pasta, which is optional. You can leave you can add it or leave it out. I have the orichetti pasta, it's just wonderful in this dish, but you can use orzo or your favorite. I have some kalamata olives that are pitted, some whole garlic, rosemary, which is also optional, salt, pepper, of course, crushed red pepper flakes, a little bit of water, olive oil, dried oregano, some pureed canned tomatoes, but you can um, definitely grate some fresh tomatoes if you have them growing in your garden some chopped up onion, and some boneless, skinless chicken uh, thigh meat. Now I'm using chicken thigh meat. It's an inexpensive cut of chicken that is filled with flavor, cooks easily, and it's just, you can't overcook it. If you do overcook it, 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 st it still stays juicy. You can definitely use chicken with the bone in. You're just gonna have to cook it longer. Let's head over to the pan so we can get started. So I'm gonna use my cast iron pan for this. It's the perfect size and it retains heat perfectly. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put some olive oil in this. Make sure you get it really nice and hot because we're gonna sear the chicken on both sides. So you wanna put it in, but what I forgot to do was to season it on both sides. So I'm gonna season some in the pan and then the rest I'll do it properly on here and I'll season the other side as we go with just, with just some salt and freshly ground pepper. You always wanna make sure you season everything every step of the way so you get maximum flavor. And then we're just gonna cook it over medium high heat until it gets brown, which is gonna take about two to three minutes or more. It just depends on the, on the heat of your pan. You'll know it's ready when it releases and then you're, we're just gonna switch it over and cook it until it's uh, slightly golden brown on the other side. Then we're gonna move on to making the sauce. So once they get nice, a golden color on both sides, you wanna take them out and reduce the heat to a low because at this point we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil. And then we're gonna add our onions. And we're gonna let the onions cook until they're really nice and golden. It's gonna take about 10 minutes on a medium uh, low heat. And then after that, we're gonna add our garlic in. You could also season the onions with just a little bit of salt and then just wait until they're beautifully golden. So the onions have softened. They've taken about 10 to about 13 minutes. It just depends on the heat of um, your stovetop and the pan that you're using, but you want them to be golden and soft. And then we're gonna grate our three garlic cloves using our microplane. That's my favorite way to do it. And then we're just gonna add them to our onions and heat them through to release all of their aroma. Let's get it all out from the back. Now this is my favorite way to, um, to cut up garlic. I feel like it's much easier than chopping it up with a knife. And also it just gets it to a really fine consistency and it almost melts into the sauce and it releases all of those oils that add a lot of flavor. And this just takes a few seconds because it's ground up so fine that if you cook it too long, it'll burn. As soon as you smell it, you'll know it's ready. And then at this point, we're just gonna add our chicken back in with all of the juices that it's released, of course, just like that. Now we're gonna add our crushed tomatoes. We'll rinse it out with a little bit of water so that way we don't waste anything. You could also add some chicken stock if you had some. Of course, crushed red pepper flakes. Now you guys know me, I like my food a little bit on the hot side. If you don't like crushed red pepper flakes, just go ahead and leave them out, no big deal. Then we're gonna add some dried oregano. And at this point, if you wanted to add some extra flavor, you just take a sprig of rosemary and just put it in there. Not too much because rosemary is, is really a strong flavor that can become a little overpowering, so you don't want to do too much rosemary. We're just going to leave this in here and let it cook until the sauce reduces. And the final thing we're going to do once this is done is add our pasta in. And that should take about 10 to 15 minutes on a medium-high heat. 
So after 10 minutes, the sauce will have reduced, it will have thickened, and then you just wanna go in and taste it and check the seasoning. It's just so flavorful. The rosemary just blended its beautiful aroma and it's just delicious. I'm adding a little bit more salt. At, don't go crazy with the salt because at this point we're also gonna add our um, olives and those add a lot of briny, salty taste, so you don't wanna overdo it. Now you could also, I'm, I have kalamata olives in here. Green olives are delicious in here because they're a little more meaty. You can add as many or as few olives as your heart desires. This is totally up to you depending on who you're serving it to and how much olive, olive flavor you'd like in it. Now just like this, this will cook for another about five to seven minutes and then it would be ready. You can serve it over some mashed potatoes um, with a side of rice or pasta, but I'm gonna turn this into a one pot dish just because it makes it so much easier and it's very delicious by adding a half a pound of orecchetti pasta. And this is, um, this is delicious because it's gonna hold the sauce because it has this texture on it. It's gonna be really nice. Now we're gonna add some room temperature water. You're gonna add just enough to cover it like I'm doing right here. I'm not adding boiling hot water because then it'll bubble up vigorously and create a huge mess. I'm gonna raise the heat up a little bit higher. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because pasta definitely needs some salt. So I'll start with about, I think half a teaspoon should be good. And then midway through I'll go in and I'll taste it. And if it needs more, I'll go ahead and add more salt, pepper, whatever it needs. Bring it to a boil, reduce the heat to a medium and let it cook for about 15 minutes. And then we'll have a meal ready in just no time. So after 15 minutes, this is what it looks like. You're gonna wanna fish out the rosemary. If you put it in there, just take it out. And there's still gonna be some liquid and you're, you don't wanna cook it until it's completely dry because then the pasta might get overcooked. This will absorb as it sits and it is ready to serve. All right, so just like that, in under an hour, we have a meal ready from start to finish all in one pan. If you like this recipe, I have similar ones to it in my free ebook, 10 Quick and Easy Weeknight Meals. To get that, it's completely free. All you have to do is head on over to my website, demetrasdishes.com. As soon as you go on there, a pop-up screen appears where you subscribe with your email. Really, all you put in is your name and your email, and then instantly you go over to your email and the book will be in there, free for you to download. There are 10 recipes in there that are perfect for um, making when you're in a hurry. This one isn't because it's a newer one that I just created, but this one, just like all the rest, are in the description box down below and on the website, so you can go over there and check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you cooked it a little bit differently, if you served it with something else. It's flavorful, so delicious. Let me show you what it looks like. The chicken is really juicy. The pasta is so flavorful because the sauce, even though it's just a few ingredients, is full, full, full of flavor. I don't know, olives always take it up a notch, especially with their briny, hearty flavor. Let's take a bite. If you want to, you can serve this with a side of quinoa. I also have a lemony version of this. If you want to learn how to make it, shoot me a comment down below and let me know. I'll, I'll teach you guys how to make that video as well. You can garnish this with some fresh parsley or with some more dried oregano and you are good to go. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.